Sun. Scientists at NASA have given us some amazing images, and they've discovered there's actually an enormous dark hole over our sun. Corey Powell's at our large Discover magazine here to look at these images. Nice to see you, Corey. Yeah. What is this? Uh, weather map on the sun. You'll notice uh, part of the sun is missing. So this is this is a picture of the sun in in ultraviolet rays. What you're seeing is this is three and a half million degree plasma erupting from the surface of the sun. This part that's missing, the reason it's dark, is that whole chunk of the sun basically ripped off, blew out, and is coming our way at about 2 million miles an hour. Our way. Our way. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Well, the, I mean, this kind of thing happens all the time, but you don't very often see something that big. So I, I'm going to go all Carl Sagan on you here for a second. So this is... This is about 80 times as wide as the Earth. If you're looking at the Earth on this scale, it's about that large. So this is an incredible chunk of the sun that's flying out. Um, what happens when it, when it hits our planet, it causes auroras, it wiggles the magnetic field. The, most, the thing you really worry about is it can disrupt your GPS, it can mess with your communication satellites. It can mess uh -huh. with your power lines. Is that like a solar flare? Or? So yeah. So this is so this is so these hot spots are where things are, it's where the the things are really kind of intense and bubbling. This is where it's basically reached the point where it just kind of completely blew off. You're actually not seeing the hot gas here because it's no longer on the sun. Did, did we it's coming into our did face? Did we ever know this before, or, or did we not take note of it? Well, we knew, it's really very recent that we've even been able to see these things, and so we kind of knew, you know, there, there's this constant low-level thing, you know, it, a few million dollars a year damages, more or less, uh, just our solar satellites, power lines, things. We knew that the sun was, was messing with us, and we didn't exactly know mm. why. Now you see why. And the real worry is this is actually, a, believe it or not, this is a small one. This is a minor wow. one. Wow. Um, can, can you tell us what this means, then? So what, what this means is... This is what the sun does all the time, and we don't really know why it does it. Um, there's, a, there's an 11-year cycle of solar activity, and right now we're going into a time of peak activity. And that's when all those things I was talking about before, you know, we, we really need to watch for your power lines, yeah. your satellites, for all that. But you um, just said something there. You said it happens all the time. If it happens all the time, is there a real risk to us? Well, or are we just noticing now? Well, so, the, so, there, so there's, there's two parts. I mean, there's, there's the stuff like this. Like I said, this is actually not even a particularly bad one. So this is what happens all the time that we weren't really noticing. That See. now we're starting to understand and forecast. But there are also there are much more intense ones. Uh, there was a giant solar flare in 1962, right before we really had a whole lot of satellites. An even bigger one in oh, 1859. Wow. And if something like that happened again, that could, yeah. that, can you, actually, that could cause a global blackout. You always talk about, you know, solar flares as the biggest danger uh, on a large scale. So we will see. Corey, thank you. Yeah. Excellent explanation. Oh, well, thank you. And uh, we'll call you Carl Sagan next time, okay? <laughs> cool? Yeah. Millions and millions of Earths would fit in this picture. Yeah, nice. There you go. Thank you, yes. Corey. All right.